Hey guys, welcome to Versus, the show where no game is off limits and our reputations are on the line. Every episode we play a brand new game, verse one another, and whoever wins gets those bragging rights. My name is Chris. And I'm Dylan. And today's game we're playing, we're playing a boxing game, we're playing Fight Night Champion. It's a boxing game that came out back in 2011. Um, it came out originally on your Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Um, what made this game a little bit different based on the other games in the series? Um, it actually had a story mode that was uh, very dark, uh, very gritty as well, and it was also one of the other games that uh, actually had a mature rating, uh, unlike again some of the other games in the franchise. Um, so right off the bat, I've played this game before. I think it's a fantastic game. I thought the story was pretty good. Um, have you played any boxing games, or have you ever played this game before yourself? Um, or? No, I cannot say. The only one I have ever touched really is uh, the Punch Out game for the Wii U, mm -hmm. or not the Wii U, the Wii. Mm -hmm. And there was an old arcade game way back when, and it had uh, sensors in these gloves. That was about it. Yeah. And I probably saw this in that Grandma's Moy movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, uh, overall, though, from even, not from even really a gaming perspective, um, boxing in general. Are you a fan of boxing? Do you do you oh. watch any of the fights? Or? Uh, well, not recently, but back in the day when I was growing up, me and my dad we'd watch, you know, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think actually the last uh, boxing match I saw I think was the uh, um, Floyd Mayweather was uh, Pacquiao. I think that was the very last one, which was a while ago. But um, but again, I mean I, I've always enjoyed you know contact sports in general. You know mm. even going back to things like martial arts and stuff. But mm. boxing's always been kind of a I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure, but it's definitely um, something I enjoy watching when it's a really good match. It's been set up by the promoters and yeah. things like that. Um, do you think you're going to win? Well, we'll have to see. I don't know. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's kick this video off. Um, again, we're going to be doing uh, basically a best of three. So whoever gets the first three will win. And uh, before we start, or before we even uh, watch this video, hit that notification bell. Hit that uh, subscribe button. That does help us out. And that will let you about all of the new content that will hit the website. But without further ado, check out the video, enjoy, and we'll see you after this. My name is Mac Tyson. I'm the best in the world going against the old man, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, go with my main man, Mr. Ali. Look at the seriousness on his face. He's ready. He's he ready to rock it. and roll. He wants it. Iron Mike Dyson. Just try not to bite off my ear. <laughs> if I get a chance. Alright, no low blows. <laughs> I promise I won't do a low blow as long as you promise you won't do a low blow. Uh, I, I promise. Alright. I might taunt you, but that's about it. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, 
No! Ooh. Uppercut. That right uppercut. Okay, okay, oh. get up, get up. One, two. Okay, come on, Tyson. Come on, you can do How it. How many fingers am I holding up? Yeah. Oh, once you're stuck in that taunt. No! No, 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 no. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> get him on the ropes. Alright, get up. Get up. Get up. Hear that ringing in your ears? That is. Something in my ears. <laughs> The B. No. Mm, mm, mm. Ten seconds. Oh, nice uppercut, but. Alright, skip. Down two. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, you know you want to. Hey, there we go. Eat that right hook. Bam. Come on. Get up. Get up. Can you see my fingers? That ref gonna get hit one of these days. Oh, there we go. Um, Sucked his nose. Ow, my nose. Get up. Get up. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, you can do it. No, 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 no. No. Come on. No. I'm the greatest. The best. He is no Alexander. I am Alexander. A2 <laughs> Brute. <laughs> Boardwalk Hall. Chad Dawson. 28, 6'1, 175 pounds. Right, Mr. Jones. RJ. RJ Jones. 20 KOs, 7 losses, wins 54, draws 0. Oh, damn! Like a flurry there. Um. Alright, get up. Get up. Alright, Dawson. Hey, come on. Whoa! 
Oh! That move in. Get underneath the defenses. Right, get up. Get up. Alright, come in. Time to recover. Come on. Get up. Get up. I want to knock you down again. Time run out. Oh, you got up. All right. Okay. Same time. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, come on, you can get up. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, jeez. Straight to the point. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You want to verse the champ? You want to verse the champ, Butter Bean? I'm the champ. Hmm. body. Oh, come on, Butterbean. I might be cheering for you, but... a little crack there. Uh, uh. There we go. Come on. 
Oh! I see. Oh, oh, cool. cool. Ah. Come on, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Barely hit. Yeah. Bump. Right in the right in the oh. belly. Big belly. Come on. Fuck. Come on, you get it. Get up. Come on. <sighs> That's not fair. Well, there you have it, guys. I uh, took the straight win. Three wins in a row. <laughs> the funny thing is, what you don't see behind scenes <laughs> is while we were testing this, seeing how we got the controls down, I was handing him to the mat. As soon as that record button comes on, done. Flatline. Flat um, I will. I will agree. I, I actually, I will uh, definitely back you up on that. We, um, <laughs> we before we uh, started recording, yeah, we were definitely trying to just make sure all the controls and stuff were working. And uh, he was definitely handing me my ass. But it, again, it, it seems to be that whole factor of you know, it's, it's kind of like like the old saying used to be. It's like you get certain actors that you know they maybe they screw up oh, certain yeah. you know lines and things. But as soon as the camera's on, it's like they. They totally forget their screw ups, and yep. all of a sudden they're it's them. They, they get it on, you know. Oh. And it was kind of that's what it kind of felt like with this, because I mean, as I said, I mean that first couple of tries, we just again just getting everything set up. Yeah, you just you were wiping the floor with me, and I was just like, damn. I mean, this is going to be pretty straightforward, but as <laughs> soon as the recording done, bam, done, <laughs> done. Ko. Well, what did what did you think of the game in general? I mean, or, I love it. Uh, I. I want to have it myself so I can play it at home, play the story mode, you know? Yeah. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the story mode, um, it's, it's, very, dark, it's very it's very gritty. dark and gritty. Um, and, of course, naturally, we didn't get to see any of that because, again, it, it, it's part of a championship mode or, yeah. you know, what they call it. Um, but, I mean, overall, I mean, what did you think of the controls for this game? Because, I mean, it, very dynamic controlling at that yeah. time because it was using, um, again, something that was very... Um, underutilized at the time with the sticks you know yes. with the controllers and stuff so yes. of course you could use not only just your buttons your shoulders and stuff but you could use the stick again depending on the you know the, the, you know if you wanted to do like a, a jab you know top left or top right if you wanted to do another another gut punch or something bomb um, what did you think of that that was that was really uh, well done but I think I stuck with the buttons more than I did the right stick mm -hmm. um, because it was easier to get those little you know, jabs get, in, get the stuff. jabs in, get the quick uppercuts, and then you know go back to the jabs or the straights. Yeah, that's one kind of thing again with sports games. Now, don't get me wrong; I've, I and I do enjoy playing some sports games. I mean, even things like you know football, soccer, um, golf. You know games like that, but the one thing that's kind of annoyed me in general about sports games over the years, and it's probably again it's one of those things that I, I don't play a lot, and it is for that major reason, is the controls. Because mm -hmm. sometimes where, um, which I think I might have mentioned in an earlier video, is especially with golf, is I used to be a huge fan of like say Tiger Woods. I used mm -hmm. to love playing them on the original Xbox. Um, a, fr a friend and I we used to play it every day when you know, 
and it was fantastic. But as the game started getting better graphically, they started changing the controls on them, and it made the game a little bit less de evolved. Yeah, it felt like it was you know de evolving the actual gameplay, or it made it more complicated than it should have been, and and I just never understood that. And that was kind of the thing originally with some of the Fight Nights too, where some of the Fight Night games were very linear, which again was pretty good. If again, if you just wanted to just get in and play. But then they started kind of changing it a little, and this one was kind of like uh, that's like again that middle ground. Yeah, it, but it was kind of like, but it, again, it, it didn't take anything away. It kind of added more to the game, and as mm. I said, with the the implementing of the actual using the sticks and stuff like that too. Now I can't really remember based on the older titles if the sticks were used or if they were, you know, maybe just for like quick hits or something like that. So I, I'm, I'm I might be going off a little here, but a little bit. But with this game specifically, um, I mean, it felt right, and I think that's why I enjoyed the game, and you know, I enjoyed the, the gameplay with it. So you had that option to do both if you yeah. wanted, you know, especially if you were trying to set something up, or as you say, pressing the buttons, and all of a sudden you're like, you know, bah, 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 bah. yeah, like, whoa, 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 yeah, all right, much. yeah. But um, overall, is it something you would play again if you had a chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's definitely, I've, as I said, I've played the game before, but I'll definitely jump on it again. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we enjoyed making it, as always. Um, as always, please hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little notification bell. That'll let you know about all of our videos uh, going up on the website when they do. It'll notify you when they're good and ready. And uh, also, too, if you are watching this video right now, you can see there should be a little icon on your video, uh, bottom right-hand corner. You can actually click that if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, as long as you're uh, logged into YouTube, you'll be able to use that feature as always. Um, also, too, we're on the social media stuff, facebook.com forward slash sdjgaming. And, of course, we're on Instagram as well at instagram.com forward slash sdjgaming. Um, and we also do have our website as well, which is www.sdjgaming.com. And um, pretty much you can hit there and uh, you can pre pretty much get everything on there. We've got our new videos up there. Um, kind of doing our little thing right now. We do have a couple of new videos up there, like our new Mortal Kombat videos. Um, if you've watched the previous uh, episode, we had our Mortal Kombat between myself and Samantha. And and uh, we also just finished off the story and uh, we're uploading it as we speak. So again, check them out, enjoy them, and uh, hit a like and subscribe to the channel. But for right now, my name is Chris. I'm Dylan. And we'll see you next time on Versus.